Hello everyone, this is Jordan from PineXL.com and today I'm going to share with you 3 tips which will boost your productivity in Excel. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our website PineXL.com for more amazing Excel resources like our premium Excel templates. Now let's start with something almost everyone knows about but still isn't using. Format dataset as tables. Almost every time you deal with raw data, you should format it as a table. It not only makes Excel calculate the data faster and reduces the overall file size, it will make your life much, much easier. Let's see what some of the advantages are when working with a table instead of a simple data range. Here we have a data set showing the sales volume for two items per month. In a separate table, we have the sales targets for each item. We want to add a new column in the data set showing the target for each item and we will do that with a simple VLOOKUP. Now we have to expand or copy the formula manually in order to cover all rows. And when the August data rolls in, we will have to copy the formula once again. This can become an issue if you're working with larger datasets. Maybe you'll forget to expand the formula, which can lead to wrong results. However, if the dataset is formatted as a table, we need to write the formula only once in the first row, and the whole column will be filled in. Not only that, but when you add a new row, the formula will be copied automatically. This not only saves time, but make sure you don't forget to expand the formulas. And as already mentioned, it also allows Excel to do the calculations faster, which can be a big time saver in larger datasets with complex calculations. Another advantage is that it is better to refer to a table than to a data range in formulas. Again, it not only allows for faster calculations, but this automatically makes the selected data range dynamic. Meaning that when the dataset expands, you won't have to make adjustments to the formula. For example, if we want to calculate the total sales for item 1, we won't have to expand the range next month, because the formula will refer to the whole table column. This is especially useful for charts. If we add a chart based on this table, it will automatically expand when a new row is added. Again, this is because the columns of a table act as dynamic data ranges. As you can see, there are many advantages of formatting your dataset as tables. So next time, make sure to do it and make your life easier. It only takes 3 clicks. Our next tip is regarding one very powerful functionality in Excel. Use pivot charts and tables more often. Even if they seem intimidating at first, pivot tables and charts are extremely useful in calculating, summarizing and analyzing big datasets once we get used to working with them. They allow the user to work with large and complex tables and can provide analysis and insights in an instance. We can take our dataset as an example. Let's say we want to create a chart which shows the total monthly sales. Now we can do that in many ways. For example, we can create an additional table with the months and use a SUMMI formula to get the final table on which to base the chart. Sure, it works fine, but it took a while to set up. And not only that, next month we will have to manually add an additional row for the new month. All this can be made easier with a pivot chart. Just go to the dataset and add one. Remember the previous tip and always base a pivot table or chart on a dataset formatted as a table. This way you won't need to readjust the pivot table's range every time there is a new row or column added. Drag the month in rows and the total sales volume in values, and that's it. It took just a few clicks to create the table and chart. And not only that, but we can add a simple slicer in order to be able to filter the total sales per item without any additional calculations or setup. In 
addition, next month there will be no need to manually add any rows. Just refresh the table and the new month will automatically appear, as long as the dataset is formatted as a table. This dynamic feature is especially useful when you expect to have categories added or removed often, because you won't need to adjust any additional tables, since the pivot will take care of it automatically. Our final tip is something simple but not widely known. You can refer to cells in text boxes. Text boxes can be very useful, especially for dashboards. They allow the user to display results without limiting the placement options as is the case when putting text directly in the cells. You can even place them over charts. The text in the text box can then still be formatted as a regular text in Excel. This means that you can play around with different formatting including conditional formatting. One additional feature of the text boxes is that you can refer to other cells directly from them. This allows them to dynamically display results based on whatever calculations you have. For example, if we want to add a text box containing the total sales volume. Now, here you can see one limitation. Text boxes cannot refer to pivot charts. This means that we will need to make an additional step and do the calculations in a separate cell, to which the text box will refer. And there you go. Based on only those three tips, we now have a nice and engaging presentation of our data. Make sure to follow them and they will definitely save your time. We have provided this workbook to download for free on our website, just follow the link in the description. If you found this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for more Excel insights. Also, make sure to visit our website pinexcel.com for more amazing Excel resources and templates. This was Jordan from pinexcel.com. Thank you very much for watching.